Hey guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. I have a super fun video today, so I'm going to jump right into it. So I was inspired from the tag that I did a while back called My Name in Books tag and essentially what that tag was, it was going through the books that you had on your bookshelf and piecing together your name through the first letter of the first word of the title. I had a lot of fun doing the tag and it gave me the idea to go through my books that I have and go through the alphabet while I do so. So what I'm going to be doing through this series video thing is I'm going to be going through the books that I have on my shelves and I'm going to be going through each letter of the alphabet and pulling as many books that I have from with the first letter of the first word of the title to see how many I actually have. So this week we're gonna kick it off with the letter A. I will not be using the letter A as a word because there are way too many books with A as the first word. I will be using the words at and and as a word since they are, well, words. But I will not be using just A as a word. I hope this makes sense. I feel like it'll make a little more sense once I actually get into showing you the books that I picked out. So without further ado, let's jump right into this new segment. Somebody name it. I'm terrible with names. Somebody shoot some ideas down below. I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. The first book I found is Awaken My Heart by Deanne Mills. The next book is Accidental Guardian by Mary Keneally. Throwing this in there, I'm not using A or the as words, so I'm just going off of the next actual... I'm going to the mashed potatoes of the food, the grit, the good stuff. The next book is Ashes and Ice by Tracy Peterson. It's At Love Spinning by Regina Jennings. I have The Apothecary's Daughter by Julie Clausen. Next, I have Anomaly by Krista McGee. Then I have Always the Baker, Never the Bride by Sandra D. Bricker. All's Fair and Love and Cupcakes by Betsy St. Amant. All of You by Sarah Monson. And finally, Always Watching by Lynette Eason. In total, I found 10 books that started with the letter A in my collection of books. And this only included full-length novels. I did not include novellas, nonfiction, or my love-inspired. Four of the books were contemporary, one was dystopian, and five were historical. I'm sure there are tons out there. I know that there are tons out there. These are just the books that I have, but I would love to see what's on your shelf that starts with the letter A. So if you're interested in doing this video, please let me know. Link it in the comments below if you do it, or just let me know some books that you have that start with the letter A. I would love, love, love to hear it. And also, if you can think of an idea to name this segment, let me know in the comments below. You can follow my blog for the love of Christian fiction at blogspot.com, and you can also follow my Instagram, which is for love of Christian fiction. All my other links are in the description box below, and I think that's it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!